Cornucopias is a cutting-edge open-world MMO set in a world where humanity has ascended from the Earth's surface and created a breathtaking new world in the sky. This fantastical realm is a system of floating islands carved from the land we once called home, now encased in radically advanced dome-shaped structures suspended high above the clouds. Each one is a futuristic marvel with its own unique environment, identity, and thriving communities. It is within these domes the epic journey begins. Here, players take control of their own personal avatar, which gives them the freedom to choose their destiny. Be immersed in vast landscapes, explore vibrant settlements, and engage in a myriad of activities such as crafting, commerce, combat, racing, and more. Welcome to a world where the sky is no longer the limit. Hey everybody, welcome to Kopi Cafe. This is episode number 82. You got Rob Gregg here and Josh Jones. And we got a fun episode for you. It's going to be short and sweet. We'll talk a little bit about East Denver, give a quick nodes update, some uh, some thoughts and acknowledgement on uh, the land grab, and then we have a special guest, a question, and a leak. So all of that and more coming up soon. Rob, what are you drinking today, sir? Well... Today, I have Yorkshire tea again. Hey, Yorkshire tea. What are you drinking, Joe? Uh, So you want to get my most valuable NFT if you guess? Um, Water? Um, No, no. It has water. But I'm drinking a uh, mix. It's uh, like a vitamin pack. It's got vitamins, a little bit of caffeine. And some flavoring. It's called the Fizz. Well, looks Fizz. It's always good if you can't make your mind up what you want to drink. It's delightful. It's delightful. Cheers. All right. Well, let's get right into it. So, fun stuff coming up. Next week, unfortunately, you will not be able to come to this, but I will be in ETH Denver. uh, And that's going to be a a pretty, pretty cool conference. They gave us an area where we can demo the game uh it's their arcade area and they could demo demo the game there so uh pretty cool of them to give us that opportunity so we'll be exposing the game to as many people at East Denver that come over to the arcade area there's a media uh team there that we're going to meet up with and do some interviews so be be on the lookout so we'll we'll try to cover some of that Doug Hype is going to be there so I'll get cool. to talk to him at some point nice I think I'm going to try to out for him because he's got a great fur that he wears. His coat. So, I mean, that doesn't count really as a as a leak, but I am going to try to do something sneaky uh, and uh, really Fair bring thing. the bling. Very so, interesting. We'll see if I pull that off in time. I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a Love. fur either, but yeah. So, yeah, that's it for ETH Denver. I wish you could be there, man, but we're also doing consensus this year, so you'll be there for that, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. Yep, and over um, to watch huge. a baseball match. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. A little Round Rock Express. Yeah, I've never been to a baseball game before. Oh, you're going to love it, man. You're going to love it. It's fun. <laughs> All right, so we got that going on. Um, the nodes update. You know, you might be able to shine more light on this, but you've developed the proof of concept. The node sale is running, so for anybody listening, all you have to do is go to cornucopius.io. Click on Marketplace, and you could participate on the base layer 2 Ethereum uh, node sale, and that's ongoing. We'll reopen Cardano again soon, but the update is you've been working on the architecture with uh, one of our new team members. Do you want to tell anything new about that? Yeah, we've had um, one area. It's had a little bit of a redesign, but that opens up whole new opportunities then um, for another type of node and some of more stuff that we can do in the future so so that, that that's really really good i'm looking forward to that yeah 
right. in terms of, in terms of sales now we've just we've sold over a third of of, of the nodes uh, which is really really good that means we're now at I'd like to say consensus level but we're at a really good level where where the idea of those distributed nodes for file distribution now works so so, yeah. so that's a good milestone to get over yeah it's great we're still early on, on this sale which is obviously open all the way till July yeah, well, thanks to all you in the community that have participated in and want to support uh, Cornucopius with the infrastructure side of things. And it also, you guys are helping us to push towards decentralization with our infrastructure. So that's exciting as well. All right. Um, we've had quite a few comments on the land grab topic that you you and I brought up. I guess it was last week in Kopi Cafe or, mm-hmm. or whatever. And we want to let you guys know there's been concerns. There's been people that love the idea, all of the above. Again, that was just an idea. Uh, we we want to let you guys know that we're listening and we're still solidifying all of that and talking about exact, uh, you know, with the team planning meetings, we're, we're wa- working through exactly how we want to do this in the most fair way possible. So we'll give you some more substance on exactly how that's going to work as soon as we can. Uh, so... Keep your uh, your ears peeled and, and keep get ready to watch the next Kopi Cafe or or in the near future we'll we'll give you more context and more details on exactly how that's going to work because that's a huge goal for this year for us so we have a lot of fun stuff coming with the land uh, I mean that's it that brings us to our special guest should we should we get him up here yeah all right. I was Welcome, as quick as the David, out of who will be appearing on most Kopi cafes. Uh, not, not probably not all of them, but from from here on out, we want to get you up here more regularly. Uh, we'll also have, uh, I think, next week we're going to have Matt up as well, uh, cool. which would be cool. Really? But um, yeah, it's good to have you on, man. What are you drinking? Or, um, two things really. So we got muscle milk. Yes, I love my muscles. No. No, this is like kind of like a meal replacement, you know, okay, just so okay. busy. Um, and then, of course, uh, the Stanley with the water. So probably the most unpopular cup in the world. So uh, is it because of that new lead campaign? That's I, I don't know. This is more of a joke because it is the most popular. It, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but like it, it's uh, apparently there's like a smear campaign going saying there's lead in the mugs. But it yeah, is a great. Of- it is a really well designed mug to get. They're good nice. amount of water, liquid in it, yep. keeps it dope. cold and refreshing. Has easy to clean. It's it's well designed. There's a reason it's popular. But um, yep. is it just a flask? Yeah, it's just it's, a, it's, it's just a, a water mug. mug. Uh, you know, um, it does what it does. Yeah, but it's it's good design. It gets it helps you to get the right amount of water on a daily basis without having to go to the yes. fridge or wherever 20 times to get it. You've, you've got a good size to it and then easy to clean. I feel like we should be sponsored by uh, uh, Stanley now that we've we've really talked oh. that up. So David, what do you, what do you want to <laughs> um, talk about this episode? I know you've got some the fun bombshell? stuff for us. Huh? <laughs> bombshells. I think he does have oh. bombshells. Bombs. Yes. Yeah, this is this this is going to be a lot of interesting things uh, in this one. That is for sure. Uh, first off, I was going to talk about what's sort of coming up. Uh, obviously, we have the land rush, but um, you've got you know you're at Cleto, you know for the player you're at Cleto right now. Well, how do you get to the land rush? How how do you get to go see you know Solus? So um, we have what's called our world travel system. I think you guys have kind of seen that on our dev updates of what's being worked on and this is the logistics of getting people around the world so um for right now the focus of that is is public transportation you've seen the pads that are in Kalido, so you'll be able to go there get on a public transport you'll fly to that cloud gate i don't know if how many of you have noticed the cloud gate that's just floating outside Kalido right now and that will take you into um, our sort of large global map area that is about a million square kilometers. And that's just on the X and Y. It doesn't count all the Z space. You could, you know, that's a whole airspace that you have right there. So uh, a lot of space for things. Um, what we went with now that's different from the original plan uh, is, you know, let's take a zone in a, in a nutshell here. You've got Solus. Uh, it's got three sectors, and 
what you were going to do originally and what was working originally is you would go to the hangars in each one of those sectors and go up to the surface level. Um, because we're going to have 36 of these sectors in the entire world, that is a logistical nightmare for what is essentially a metro system. Uh, so what we went with now, which is a much better idea, is you have a central hub that's in between the that cluster of sectors that makes up a zone. Uh, the the public transport actually goes through there. Oh, we're going to put this on the screen now. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to talk about all of it right here. So. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Let me let me pause real quick to just introduce a community question. So we've had a com- community questions about you know what's going to happen with the home bubbles. We've had quite a few of those. So that's the questions yeah. that we're going to answer for you guys today, uh, which is that are we going to have a home bubble still? You know, people were we haven't talked about that a lot late, lately. Yes, we are. Uh, the answer is yes, we are, and. We've improved that significantly. So what the way we changed it is the home bubble is actually going to be a community area where everyone starts with their own space uh, and in the basement, actually, where they can level up over time and gradually work their way to the penthouse. You'll still be able to craft and build out your own personal space inside that area. But this creates more of a community feel. And uh, we think that's uh, really important. Goes along with the lore well, and there's there's a lot of positive things that that does. It ala- enables us to create a location that's easier to get to solace and and these different um, domes that you may want to go to as well. So that's uh, the free to play housing sector resorts that you see here in the image. And that's all I wanted to do is just to to set up and answer that question, and then you can kind of give it more more detail. Yeah. So, yeah. Why why did we move away from the original free home bubble idea? Well, uh, on paper, it seems like a great idea, but logistically, it's it's a problem for gameplay. Uh, it it could be a problem for servers. It, it's just um, you know we're guys. What we're aiming at is like millions of players in this case. Um, you don't really want to let's say hop in a bubble jet fly a couple hundred kilometers one way, go through a cloud gate, go into a certain instance, and then have to go visit your friend that might be in one of those, you know, a million (laughs) home bubbles that have a lot of space between them. I mean, there is a chance that we're going to have the home bubble in the future is more of a premium thing. But this is what we're looking at right now, which is every single (laughs) zone, such as Solus, is going to have a central hub in the middle. On top of that is your sector resort, essentially. And uh, you will actually be able to choose uh, as a free player or as paid, what, whatever it is, you'll be able to choose, hey, I want to live in the center of Esperanza. I want to live in the center of Solus or Fortune or any of the other zones that you have there. Um, the free-to-play uh, player metro system, uh, public transport, if you don't have a vehicle, runs between the central hubs, uh, between the sectors. So that's your second level that's below. And then below that, you have your private player. Hey, uh, this is also a solver of a problem. We were, I think I was a little bit overwhelmed seeing that some people have 300 bubble jets. Well, it doesn't make Ouch. a lot of logistic sense for that to all be in your home bubble. So uh, large central, you can think like Star Wars kind of hangar uh, that's down there. And you'll be able to view and see all of your vehicles fly out of those and you have very close access uh, to ev- to everything in the world. This also helps remove a loading screen uh, as well uh, to some degree and it's it saves you a lot of time. So inside of that sector resort or housing, you will have levels going all the way up. So you have kind of like your basement and above ground layers where you'll have a lot of free players to be there. Just, uh, you know, some people will have windows, some people won't. Uh, as you go up, you'll get to a penthouse level where there's a lot more space and that's options to purchase or options to earn your way up uh, to those. So the uh, the higher up you go, the bigger they are. And what happens in there is essentially the building that we would originally seen uh, in the home bubbles. Uh, sure, you could have some ponds, you could have some plants in there, but you can also decorate walls, put up paintings, things that you've crafted in game. Uh, you can have a utility items refrigerators to keep food that you picked up in Kalido, uh, loot chests, you know, where you can sort of store your goods that you brought from there. So it's, it's meant now to 
be closer to gameplay and really facilitate that gameplay and be a part of it instead of this thing that's sort of floating out there is an actual logistical nightmare. Um, so that's that's kind of the breakdown there. So sim style building, um, everybody will be able to decorate with lots of furniture, have a unique space, have a friend over uh, to those as well. And you're talking about massive resorts where each building can hold 100,000 people or more. And everyone, the great thing is everyone gets their own unique space uh, in there, whether yeah. you're free or not. Which is just amazing. And then there's going to be community areas. So it's a, it's a whole new community vibe approach uh, that yep. still allows for you to have your own custom personal space, which is pretty awesome. You know, so for for me, this this all sounds very dystopian. You know, the, so probably let's talk a little bit about the law that we introduce every single week. There's been a calamity on Earth. Earth is dead. Everybody that goes up in t and, and starts in Cornucopius, you're basically a refugee. You're starting with absolutely nothing. You're starting with a dream. You're starting in the basement. I'm hoping on the wall there will be a picture of two trees and a hammock because what you need when you're starting your new life in Cornucopius is you need hope, and, and that's your hope. You want to start off with absolutely nothing. You need to build yourself up. You have you have a dream. You have a dream. You have hope. Just like in episode four, Star Wars. You know, we we all need. Hope. I think you you said that incredibly well. Dystopian hope, and it so yeah. syncs with the vibe yeah. of what we want to create. You'll have one uh, set of clothes. Yeah. So so what, yeah, I, and we I, will I'm, definitely bring in bro. two trees in a hammock in a way that's uh, still compelling and yeah. fun. Uh, and and honors that part of the legacy of the original story uh, that's only changed a, a yeah. tiny bit there. But I, mean, hey, I, I don't think there's any reason why you couldn't put two trees in a hammock in one of those spaces. Ooh. <laughs> and so, I mean, a lot of those will be big enough to do that. Yeah, so. yeah. L life is going to be tough to begin with. You know, you're going to have one set of clothes. As, as you know, as with every other MMO RPG. You're going to have to go and work. You're going to have to grind. But everything that you get, everything that you earn, everything that you craft will be yours. You know, this This is what Cornucopius is all about. You start with nothing. And who knows where you're going to be in a year, two years from and now. Actually, one awesome. thing is guaranteed. You will own it all because you've earned it. Yep. Yep. So that's, that's kind of the breakdown there. Um, you know, on the, we didn't talk as much about what's on the right here, but you also have the central city. So, uh, when you guys leave Kalido and come into the world soon, uh, hopefully you'll see some very interesting life and things around. Uh, you'll actually be riding on the transport vehicle, uh, physically, uh, into that space. And the, the first stop is going to be that the cluster, uh, that Solus has there. So, um, all this stuff is getting very, very close. So, I, I'm very excited. For yeah. People well, what to... do you, what can you define very, very close? What does that mean? Where are we at with the world travel system? So it's, it's, it's not just about that. It's also about making sure the sectors are ready as well, making sure that land rush stuff is ready. So uh, we're realistically only a couple months away uh, from that right now. So unless we, you know, it's game development, uh, there's a lot of back end stuff that has to happen as well. Um, there, you know, there could which be which is in the works and going very well from from what yeah. I keep hearing. Yeah. So, yeah, yep. So, there's always a chance for something to go wrong, but uh, we feel pretty strongly that um, our community will be leaving Kalido so So, very exciting. Yes, it really is. And you see that central city there. That's something Rob and I talked a lot about in the very beginning, uh, which really is where the more of the metaverse elements start to come into play with B two B deals. Uh, and all sorts of business to business deals that we bring into the city area uh, and add a new kind of life to to cornucopius. But that's the further off in the distance that requires a lot. And so the the city's uh, um, it's 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 planned, uh, but we we have a long way to go before that gets actually released. That being said, this world travel system is uh, coming along quite nicely, as you heard David say. So, very very exciting stuff hopefully you you guys all love it we've made some we've had some pretty awesome fun creative meetings battling back and forth to to 
getting in and landing on this. And I think it's very exciting. Rob uh, described it very well uh, with the uh, dystopian <laughs> um, kind of idea there. A little Orwell, a little 1984, but, you know, some fun, some fun themes in there that you can uh, think about. But yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you for coming on, David. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's, there's more where that came from, but you know, yeah. Keep a, we keep well, a lid on it a little bit. Yeah, a little, cold. little taste every week with David is what we're shooting for. Yeah, I mean that's more than a leak. That's the biggest. I think that's the biggest leak, biggest law drop, jaw drop as well. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm still in shock. Yeah. <laughs> when does development start on one of the first communities to build that area up? Um, the so. The the basic shell for that will be in place uh, for the land rush, essentially. You won't be able to go into that resort yet. That'll just be kind of like what the buildings look like from the outside. So, realistically, what you have inside of these buildings is what we call a programmatical grid. Um, and, and that's what's really going on. You go to the elevators, it you know it takes you to your unique place uh, that's there. Yeah. The, the place that's only for you. So, so, so we'll still have building mechanics within the within your within your space, and um, yes, and there'll be community areas outside. Well, there'll be will there be a burger barn? Is it is that what we're yeah thinking? yeah burger barn amenities? Yeah, and this will uh, it will also set us up for the custom domes as well. So some of the functionality in the building right. kits for your apartment you would also be able to utilize in a custom dome in the future potentially. Correct. Custom domes, uh, uh, land plots as well. Uh, also, the uh, the the crafting system. You'll be able to do part of. You know, we need to do an episode where we talk about this once once it's finished. But the uh, you'll be able to start out in crafting in there too. If you want to have your woodworking carpenter's table in your apartment, you you can have that too. Um, certain you can't fit a factory in there. So, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Maybe maybe a, a small factory when you get to the penthouse level when you work your way there. Out there. Yeah, well, I want a swimming pool in my penthouse. Oh, definitely, that, that'll be a thing. An overhanging yep. swimming pool with a glass bottom floor, an infinity pool. Yeah, then then That's you know you've made it when you can look, you look at all over... the newcomers be, below while you're yeah. while you're swimming. Yeah, if you look good. at the stats of the Sims and and how you know how popular that yeah. is, and you know going through for years, people really love that the more micro building of decorating their own space, you know, rugs, coffee tables, you know, utility items, all of that. Well, it's a, so, it's a whole different type of progression. I mean, we talk a lot about progression. This is this is an, an another element of progression. Yeah. Yep. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Really planning that out. And uh, going through that progression, we're going to need some props artists. That's for sure. We yep. got them coming. Yeah. So I, I got I got a lot of hires that we're going through right now. So that's that's not only going to speed up the sector development; it's going to allow us to do more things at once. So uh, on a big hiring, sp- I just I just have one question. Sure. sure. If, if I work my way up to a penthouse, can I do some base jumping? Might have to put you in prison for that. Do we have so to, we we, have to take the lift? Yep. Surely I can base jump. That's or question maybe number two, pool. actually. Um, so I don't know if we're allowing two questions when you said it would be one. Are we? Oh. Judges? Judges? Hey, I'll let's ask. give him the second question. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I I love the idea of base jumping. With the, with that, that would be awesome. Hey, and if you get imprisoned for it, fine. Yeah. Some of, the like the some of the things that makes sense. If you get Police caught, bot forming at the bottom and saying "Don't do it," and them trying to go up there and grab you. So, <laughs> but, that, but then you can open up your 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 parachute like James Bond. You know, you might oh, be yeah. able to have a a, a, a corn flag or a, as your parachute. Maybe if we can get the, uh, you know, I'm I'm just going to say AI integration or something right now. They could be like, Rob, we've told you before. <laughs> World's yeah. longest, to be tallest zip line. Yeah. So. Well, 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 well uh, will there be some towers bigger than others? Well, we'll uh, have to leave all these questions for. It's, I'm, I'm I gonna, mean, that's. Yeah, we'll leave all this. I just have so, one question turned into 16, but that's okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, imagine what the community yep. are going to ask. This, 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 
this is going to set. Oh, no, yeah. it's going to be an explosion of new questions. It's good, though. Hey, look, this is fun. It's a great uh, it's a great new solution. And we've been always all about community. It's going to make it so much easier to get people into your area because everybody starts here. Uh, not everybody on each one, but because there will be different ones. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm really forward excited. To what what are, what do you call the the suits, David? That you is it the breaker suits? Yeah, mm-hmm. breaker suits. So that's uh, well, what because you're being ferried in from our world yeah. to their version of Earth, where things have a win as well. You're going to come over on the world breaker, and you're going to be in your breaker suit. So uh, it's not to say that you couldn't buy some other clothing, shop around. You know, um, we don't want everyone to look like it's a giant prison yard. So. Uh, you know, the, that's that's what you start with. It's a lot so, to take Some in. people might even compare it to like a vault suit in, in Fallout or yeah. something like that. All right. Yeah. Well, folks, you heard it all yeah. here. Thanks for coming up, David. Really appreciate you. Uh, and I know you got a lot to do. So Rob and I were back to back with meetings today. So we'll let everybody go. Thanks for watching yet again another episode of Kopi Cafe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't care what you say. Don't care what you say.